this is your girl Tatiana duh and I'm back with another video I know it's been a while and I know you're like did this girl even pass night of school what's going on we ain't here from this girl like two months y'all it has been a rough one the first semester of nursing school has definitely it was definitely challenging first and foremost i want to say i did pass my classes so i am going over to the, ne the next quarter um but to even get there i got to talk about what went on in the first quarter or semester for the first quarter and so so if you're interested in finding out what happened to me in the first quarter of nursing school, then stay tuned for the video. So, if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Tatiana. I am a nursing student, and um, my channel is um, about nursing a little bit, probably a little bit of lifestyle, but right now we're in the nursing transition part of it because that's what I'm doing right now. Um, and if you are newly subscribed, thank you subscri for subscribing to my channel. And thank you for coming back to watch my channel if you already subscribed. Um, so, first and foremost, what classes, um, what classes did I take in uh, the first quarter? So, the classes that I took was Intro to the Nursing Profession, Principles of Assessment Lab, and principles of assessment and pharma, pharmacotherapeutics one, which is just basically pharmacology. So, my quarter is 10 weeks long. So, the first week of nursing school was kind of like, okay. It was the second week that started to be like, okay, yeah, this is real. So, if you are familiar with um, the whole, you know, being a nursing school process, it is a lot different than your prerequisites. Um, those prerequisites that you've taken <laughs> definitely comes back. And think about it, you spend two years, maybe more doing those prerequisites and then you're like, alright, I'm done with it, that's it. Mm, no. It's like, those prerequisites comes back and haunt you. It's like, if you don't remember what you what you learned in microbiology, A and P 1 and 2, like, you're gonna be confused coming in. Because I was like, ooh, when I was in uh, pharmacology, I was like, ooh, I kind of forgot some of this stuff from A and P 1 to 2, microbiology, chemistry. Like, all of those stuff come back. So, I would suggest kind of refreshing up on that stuff because it's built it builds on it it really does but the first thing that i should have just like with nursing school is just like you'd be so excited to be like all right i'm on track to become a nurse it's woo -woo -woo, and we're gonna get in here and it'd be something totally different y'all like I can't describe the amount of stress <laughs> that I got behind nursing school because boy, when I tell y'all, I was stressed upon stress upon stress in nursing school, it is not even funny. Like, if you are an organized person and you procrastinate a little bit like me, you got to get it together. Because otherwise you're gonna really struggle because if you procrastinate and you're not organizing your stuff, the typical you'll forget, oh I got an assignment to do, oh I got a test, oh I got a quiz. Like some days you'll have quizzes and tests on the same day for two different classes. And that's what it was like for me. Um when you are in nursing school, you know you have lecture. And then followed by a lecture, you know, you still have your little assignments and then you have a lab. Um, 
So I'll just take it one class at a time to kind of break it down. So with principles of assessment, um, it's kind of like the introductory, the introduction before you get to fundamentals is how I would put it. Um, because in this principles of assessment, you're basically in in some ways you're relearning how to how to assess how you, how are you <laughs> I can't talk in principles of assessment you're basically learning how to assess a person but in order to know how to assess a person you need to know what the heck you are assessing so that's why I say things like AMP one and two and patho all of those things come back because you're going to be dealing with different body systems and all of this stuff is building up for you to be able to do a head to toe assessment so being able to know what part of the body is being affected and then why and then being able to assess from there is a is going to be really really helpful with assessment um assessment was a class that i struggled with believe it or not um some of my classmates breezed through it but assessment was something that i really struggled with because i really didn't retain all of that stuff for my prerequisites like i should have but it was more so of me overthinking a lot when it came to these questions which brings me to in clicks questions oh if you ever had a question that you thought was hard you may meet an NCLEX style question NCLEX style question have you questioning yourself for real like you're always gonna have four you know four different choices to choose from it's always gonna be down to two you're gonna have one that's right and one that is the most right so I would say do some NCLEX style questions so you can be familiar with how to answer a question like thinking like a nurse because that's what a lot of your tests and quizzes are going to be NCLEX style questions to prepare you for the NCLEX um, down the line. So being able to being able to get familiar with the NCLEX style questions will help you. Otherwise, you're gonna get that test and you're gonna be like, huh? What? What is, what is like, you're gonna be like, mm, what is this question even asking me? You're gonna be looking like I did, stupid. I was like, mm-mm, huh? Huh? And it's like, those NCLEX style questions are beasts. But back to assessment. So with assessment, it is, you're going to be basically learning different, relearning basically parts of the body, um, how it's affected. Um, like for instance, um, you're gonna be learning, like let's say somebody comes in with abdominal pain. Um, you're gonna be learning about the different quadrants and what organs consist in each quadrant so you can know you know be able to assess oh this patient is coming in because they their pancreas something going on with their pancreas or something along those lines something going on with their appendix something along those lines like that so yeah and it's a lot of information and then when you're in their school, stuff is back to back, 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 back to back. It's like you're learning one thing. By the time you learn that thing, you need to be already learning the next thing because it comes so fast. And then you can't just learn it and then forget it. No, you got to learn it, keep it, and add on to it. Learn it, keep it, add on to it. And it becomes a lot because not only do you have one class, you have other classes that you have to tend to too. And what I messed up in the first beginning portion of nursing school was I focused too much on one class and I neglected the other. I would say just, you know, try to, distrib try to distrib <laughs> distribute uh, studying evenly 
But if you feel like, hey, I really got this class down packed, then that's cool. But still make sure you, you know, refresh and look over it. And two, look over the PowerPoints. <laughs> y'all, I, I, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Like, I did not look over those PowerPoints for assessment like I should have. Not for pharmacology, I definitely was looking over those PowerPoints before I went to class. But for assessment, I was just kind of like going in, you know, participating in lecture, but I did not read the <laughs> PowerPoints prior to class as much as I should have. I did towards the end and I started to see a different result, but in the beginning I did not. And that kind of contributes to my grade in the beginning because I was struggling bad. Bad, 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 I was struggling. But with assessment, um, it's pretty kind of, it, it really, um, it, it's pretty, an easy okay class but like I said you need to really brush up on NCLEX style questions you can go to stuff like Quizlet um you can use your ATI stuff um to yeah definitely touch on those ATIs and um once you get into the program you're gonna have access to ATI the place that you took your T's um they're gonna give you like you know stuff for you to ATIs to do and then also other stuff that can you that you can practice on far as NCLEX for the NCLEX style questions or you can use the NCLEX book the uh, book itself and practice those questions in that in that way too so um, and then you had and then with assessment comes the lab which basically we're learning the skills that we were talking about so for instance um, We'll learn about the musculoskeletal system, and you know we'll learn things about adduction, adduction, abduction, flexion, extension. Learn how to um, do an assessment for those things. You'll learn about things about the eyes, how to do the Snelling chart, how to do um, fundus exams. All this stuff that I'm telling you is going to be stuff that you're going to end up coming across. I mean, it's stuff as you can Google too, but you'll learn how to do those things. Uh, you know, the Snelling test for your visual visual acuity. So, you know, when they be like, put one, one hand over your eyes, stand 20 feet away, read the first line, you know, the A, B, C, D, E, or zero, one, two, three, whatever it is. You'll learn about how to do a proper assessment on that. You'll learn about the, also an assessment, you learned about the ears, how to do an assessment on the ears. You know how the doctor looks in your ear and stuff. Um, they're actually looking at your tympanic membrane and making sure your eardrum isn't, your ear canal is like, you know, isn't draining or, you know, infected or red or stuff like that. Those are the types of things that we learned in lab. Um, and also we did touch on dosage and calculations. Um, with my nursing program, um, we don't have a dosage and calculations actual like exit. Like I know some nursing programs have it to where you have to, um, you have to make like an 80 or a 90 before you can move on to the next portion. Our, our school doesn't do that, but we do incorporate doses and calculations within our tests. And doses and calculations is something that I do struggle with. So I'm still getting the hang of it. So I can't really get no tips and tricks on that. But once I get it, I would definitely share how I'm doing with it. Um, math in general, I always just struggle with. It's just, that was something that's just always been my weakness. So um, to some people, doses and calculations may be easy. If you're somebody like a farm tech, this will be right up your alley for as those just a calculation. Um, what else for lab? Lab, I love lab. Lab was fun. Lab was, um, well, lab was fun. It was like a, a re, it was like a, how can I explain it? With those tough classes that we were taking, lab felt like a, a relief. Like we were learning stuff, but we were actually doing the physical portion of it as well. So when those eight hours fly by, it's like, oh dang, it's not that bad. 
So, yeah. Um, pharmacology. Woo. <laughs> Farm. <laughs> pharmacology is one of those things what I like and don't like. What I like about farm is it's really cut and dry. Like, it, this is what it is, and this is what it ain't. Like, there is no up for your interpretation of what you think it may be um, with those different medications and the effects of it and everything. It's like, right there. It's like, there is no in-between. It's just like, it's this is what this is. Like, there is no really get kind of get anything confused with it. It's how I can explain it. But um, definitely with pharmacology, make sure you're looking at your different drugs. Um, make sure you're looking over your uh, PowerPoints. Make sure you are understanding the drug and understanding the information to where you can retain it. Because maybe how the teacher has it in a PowerPoint is not the way that you understand it. Um, you you can use outside resources like registered nurse RN. You know other people on YouTube. Heck, people on TikTok has been able to break stuff down for about farm better than some teachers. But just make sure if you're struggling with farm that you're using different resources to kind of help you with that. Um, yeah, farm wasn't really that that bad for me it was just a lot of information to remember and to retain and keep going and keep going and keep going on top of my other classes and then lab and then yeah yeah knowing the different level drug levels and toxicity level like all of those things are going to be important for you to do no cards help me Looking over the PowerPoints helped me. Study groups with my classmates helped me. And, um, what else? And actually doing, um, you know, practicing and, no, actually having study groups, you know, on FaceTime, Starbucks, like those types of things help. And be prepared to, to study more than usual um i work full time so i work full time so once i get off work i'm basically going straight to school so while i'm at work um i'm at work with my laptop out literally doing homework studying like those are things that you have to be prepared to make the sacrifice of not having as much time to do what all the things that you did before you started um, nursing school um, because you're going to have to really dedicate your time to studying. Otherwise, if you're one of those people who just winging it, it's going to come back and bite you when it's time for you to take your ear click. So just making sure that you dedicate time to studying, but just don't overstudy. Um, make it make sense to you. Make make the information make sense to you because at the end of the day you have to sit down and you have to take those tests. So make I me like me and my classmate we would make study guides like for our um for our uh, test because it was like hmm this may okay let's put this in here let's put this in here let's type it like this so we can remember like different acronyms like different things you just have to play around with it and figure out what's best for you. Um, intro to nursing profession is kind of more like me going over the different uh, parts of the nursing process. Um, it was a pretty easy class. Um, I, oh, my bad. I finished, um, I finished assessment with a C. I finished, um, pharmacology with a B. And I finished... past lab I finish um, assessment with the C I finish pharmacology with the B yeah past lab assessment with the C and intro to nursing profession with the B 
in pharmacology to be. Um, yeah, that was tough. <laughs> but um, also to like, you gotta be organized with um, stuff that you need to get done. I would say in my opinion, I would get all the busy work stuff done. Like if you got like a paper due or like some drug cards that need to be done, I would really go ahead and get all that stuff done. So when it's time for you to study, it's not like you're over, you're like, oh my gosh, I gotta do this, do that, do that, do this, do that. And two, be prepared. I don't know if all programs do this, but for my particular program, we have to do these things called shadow health. And it's kind of like a, I call it like an online clinical. Those things, are long those shadows health take between 30 to an hour and 30 minutes depending on what you're doing and i would just recommend just go and get out it's gonna be time consuming i would just if i was some you i would just go and get it done in the first one or two days or within that first week um because getting the busy work out of the way so you can have that time to still to be able to dedicate more time for you actually studying for your quizzes and stuff is it it'll help out tremendously um i will um do drop a video on advice and things that i wish i knew before nursing school so i can be able to go into in depth of what you can do i don't want to make this video too long um but if you guys have any questions, you know, just drop it in the comment section below. Um, I will be dropping more videos. Um, I just had to really get adjusted with the first semester, which was kind of tough because I'm more of a B student. And for me to struggle this badly like I did is not normal for me. So being it, I had to really adjust myself to um, nursing school so bear with me but um i remember what it was like having to look for different videos and nobody really going to detail about what really go on so um i'm gonna try my best to try to be as detailed as possible so in the next video i will go into depth about things that um i wish i knew and I'll go into detail, more detail about that. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you are a nursing student or a pre-nursing student, um, don't give up. Keep pushing through and we got this. Bye.